Tingle, tingle, kaloo, limpa! Previously on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I am marching along in a line filled with chicks, hoping to find the last one. Do, 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 do. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. Hey there, I'm Silent Senior 09. This is Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Let's go ahead and continue with our adventure, shall we? Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Um, real quick, there's actually something I want to do back in Clock Town. Hopefully, I can still do it. If you uh, go back there in West Clock Town, there is an office that's right next to, I think it's the Swordmaster Guild's place. And right there, there's actually a Postmaster office, which is across from the lottery place, if I'm thinking of the directions where I think I am. I believe I have this down right, because it's been a while since I remember doing this particular side quest. It's, and the only reason I can say that is because this is just such a small side quest that it's really easy for me to miss it. And it's usually one I wind up putting off until like the last minute, but... In West Clock Town, right over here, hopefully it's open. Post office. Okay, so let me see. Yeah, it looks like it is. Cool. Right in here, you probably have seen this guy running around or walking about. Let me read his little schedule thing here. This week's schedule. Morning collection. Afternoon delivery. Evening practice. The week's motto. Don't slack off. The heavens and the wife are watching. Mayor Dotor. <laughs> That's funny. I could totally see that. Yeah, this guy we noticed has been watching, walking around town, and as you can see, he's got a neat little like setup here. He's he's like a college student, ready to rock and roll for the semester. He's got all his calendar set up, his schedule. He's got a clock, alarm clock, a giant clock to remind him when he's late, and he's labeled out and marked out on the map where all the post boxes are. It's really cool, actually. I like this. It's really fancy. Oh, he's got a present there, too. Nice. And some packages to deliver. Anyway, sorry, I just... It's not very often I go in here, so it's really hard for me to take a moment to kind of enjoy this. What you want to do in here is you want to talk to this guy with the bunny hood mask on. You don't have to do this with the bunny hood, but it makes it easier. Four! Five! Six! Ah! Those ears! Oh, they're fake! You startled me! Don't disrupt my training! In my mind, I'm running for exactly ten seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of a mental training. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try? Yes, yeah, sure. Press the A button to start. Count ten seconds, and at the precise moment you think you hit ten seconds on the dot, press A again. Alright, so this is actually pretty challenging. Because you have to, like, on the, as soon as you hit 10, you have to push A. So it's really tough to do this. And... Oh, crap! Crap! Dang it! Oh, almost! That was a close one! Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. You look like you want to try it again. I'll let you try, but this time it'll cost you two... What?! You can't charge me two... Ru That's bull. Fine, whatever. Let's do it. Ready? Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me see. Yes! Oh, ten seconds! Ho oh, ho! That is amazing! You have reflexes suitable for a postman. As thanks for showing me something impressive, I'll give you this. Da -da -da -da. Oh, nice. A heart piece. Cool. Yay! I can't believe this! I'll have to train more! MORE! You have showed the wi your wild instincts. This was added to your notebook. The postman was, whose priority is delivery was added to your notebook. Oh, we'll have to keep that in mind. His priorities. Although I do question them sometimes, especially when the moon's about to fall, but eh, well. It's kind of like that postmaster that's in um, One Piece, actually. Or actually, no, it's not One Piece. Duh, you dumb dumb. In Professor Layton series, there's a postman actually that uh, winds up. Do I, I met him like when I'm playing. I'm playing the second installment to the series, and he he's like delivering all over the place. He's pretty dedicated. It's who he reminds me of, honestly, the guy that's in that game. Anyway, sorry, just random tangent thought there. 
Okay, so, uh, yeah. Something I'll figure I'll go ahead and show you in case you forgot the effects of playing a pawn a song. If you play a pawn a song, you'll be able to call a pawn a wherever you are, depending on, of course, your location. If you're in a location a pawn a can travel, a pawn a will show up to, and come to your aid. If, however, you're, like, say, in the water or something like that, obviously she's not going to be able to come to you. You may hear her cry in a distance, but that's about as good as you're going to get. So, uh, the next, there's actually a couple more things I would like to go ahead and do. Looks like I have some time, so I'll go ahead and do those now. These are, this is kind of a sequence break, I guess you could say. I don't know. I don't know what you would consider sequence break, but I like doing this because... It's done and it's out of the way. There's a couple masks I want to pick up that are up in this area. This is the Eastern Canyon. This is opposite of the area we actually would like to go to because we can't do a whole lot here. Oh, dude, I forgot. Crap. Hang on. Dang. Pawnee, you are a beast. I'm not gonna lie. Seriously. You're like the Trojan horse, practically, from the Greeks. Like, nothing can stop you. Dang. Alright, so... In the eastern... Okay, hang on. Wait for this fool. Okay. In the eastern canyon, we can't do a whole lot because where we need to go is up there where that guy is, and we need a hook shot. I'll go ahead and spoil that now, but... Yeah, well, it's it's all good for those, a lot of you who have played this game or are, are following along and playing it currently. You're already way ahead of me, so anyway. <laughs> right over here in this little ring of rocks, if you use the lens of truth, you can actually see a, an invisible guard waving his, like a, he's trying to get somebody's attention. Huh? Don't tell me. That's... I'm shocked. You're the first person who's ever spoken to me. I've been here for many years, waving my arms around and asking for help. But everyone ignores me and passes by me. It's cause I'm about as impressive as stone, right? Eh, I don't know about that, sir, but... Alright. I'm used to it, though. Um, I have a request. Can you give me some medicine that would make even the an unnoticeable stone like me feel better? Sure, how about some red medicine? That should do the trick. Ah, that... is that it? Gulp. We got a guardsman! Oh no. I feel better, I think. Thanks! Oh, uh, here, in gratitude. We got the stone mask! Where it will become a plane of stone. Cool. Now let me practice standing out. Shiro the stone soldier was added to your notebook. You helped the inconspicuous soldier. This was also added to your notebook. Nice. So that was the one of the main reasons. The stone mask is rather handy. Especially when I... Oh, let me see if I can demonstrate it. Hang on. Uh, let me pull it out. I can demonstrate it later, but I'll go and demonstrate it now. If you wear the stone mask, enemies cannot see you. If you touch them, of course, like they just did, like a dumb butt, you can still get injured. And I don't know if I explained the bunny hood yet, but if you have that on, aside from being able to do the postmaster thing, you can actually run around a lot faster. So, anyway, I figured I'd... Before I forget to explain those, there we go. I explained them. <laughs> As my good friend Alyssa says it, whenever we played charades, when she's like, it's the thing with this and that, and when somebody guesses it, she's like, yeah, there you go. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I apologize, Alyssa, if you're watching this, and if you're like, dude, don't you, uh, don't use my name. Hello, who are you? Seriously, you don't know me like that. You don't know me. <laughs> no, just kidding. She's she's good. She bless her heart. She's a sweetheart. And I don't I, I don't I doubt she'd even want to watch something like this. This is like really, bleh, boring sometimes. I know that from a fact, because I know some of you are like. What did I just... What just happened? Why am I watching this? What? Seriously? Dude! Bat, you need to die. Okay. I know you, where's your buddy? Come on. I know you're around here, you little fuzzle puck. You little fart knocker. Oh, there you are. I see you there. Come here. Come here. I'm like, like Ozzy Osbourne on your butt. Bite your daggum head off if I can. Get... Okay, fine. Fine, you want, you want to play this way? Stop! Bat! Die! Rawr! No, I don't want to read the dead. I will not pay respect to that dead bat. Seriously. Oh, crap, it's nighttime. Well, that's alright. 
I was going to show you a really funny character that you guys, some of you seem to like from last time, and I get to do his voice. I'll, I'll try to keep it the same if I can. But anyway, hold on, I'm waiting for the daggum thing. Night of the first day. Okay, now that I... Ow. Owie. Yeah, I don't advise you hit your hand on objects. That hurts. So, let me get to the gameplay talk. I am here in the graveyard of Eastern Canyon. Also, let's go ahead and get some background information on this, since we can't talk to the gravekeeper. You awaken me. Battle me. Then shall I extinguish the furious flame. Furious flame. I think he means that thing up there, which we can barely see. It's kind of cool. Okay, so, in this episode, episode you're gonna, in this part, you're going to want your ocarina the arrows, and that's pretty much all you're really going to need. You don't need anything else. And if you've learned this Song of, Song of Awakening, which you should have by now, because in order to get Apana and get all through that jazz, especially for those who are just trying to do a three-day run, you have to have Sonata of Awakening. You have to have arrows to slow this butt guy's butt down. Holy crap. Dude, you got a big butt. Dag gum, son. You got a money maker that definitely can show. All right. Get rid of these guys. There we go. Alright, let me tag it. Tag you. You've been tagged, fool, on Facebook. Tag. Let me tag you again. Ready? Tag. Aha. Ready? Tag again. Aha. Ready? Tag again. Aha. Let's begin! Hoya! That's right. Take it. Take it like an. Oh! Like the dead man you are. Did I am the one groaning in my nut? I don't know the lyrics, but I love the song Dracula. Yeah, sorry. Die! Die again if you've already dead. Stop trying to butt-bottom slam me, whatever it is you're doing. Yeah! <laughs> sorry. Just the expression, like, Whoa, wait, don't beat me up anymore, you big bully! <laughs> wait! It is my loss. Sheathe your weapon. Wow. This is actually this was actually kind of fun. I like this part. I commanded the Ikani army of Ikana Kingdom atop the hill. I am called Skull Kita. Howdy, Skull Kita. I'm Silent S. Since being shamed by loss in the battle within my kingdom. I have awaited here for one to come and awaken my soul. Young swordsman who has awakened and deftly defeated me, I shall rely on your power to fulfill my request. I ask you to take my soul which rests in the fiercely burning flame and convey my words to my men who even in death remain loyal to me. Hmm. Reminds me of a poem, actually. Tell them the war has ended. Alright, Cybertron, I'll be sure to do that, or Optimus. Then I shall be able to drift quietly into a deep slumber. Booyah. Better, better poetic skills. Captain, sir! May I take leave, sir? This is really epic right here, I like this. Especially the way they do with the special effects and the camera. Kind of like shifting. Yes, sir! <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, that was really weird. That's really weird that they do that, but okay, I won't complain. So, the longest time whenever I went to do this, I always thought you had to have the hook shot to do this, you know, because the chest is wooden, and the hook shot, which I know I've been, exp been explaining it, and yet I don't have it. You can latch on to wooden things. You don't actually need it. You don't even need the bunny hood for this. All you need to do is climb up on this side or that side over there and run and jump across it. Well, oh, jeez, dude. Hang on a sec, guys. I'll be right back. Derp. Okay, let's try this again. You want to roll in at the end of your jump. So, there we go. Okay, I figured I knew how to do this. I'm just being stupid for some reason. 
Yay! Goodies! 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 We got the captain's hat! Yeah! The ghost of a hundred soldiers swear allegiance to the symbol of authority. <coughs> cool, excuse me. Ooh. That was really gross. Actually got to taste some stuff. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and warp back to uh, Romana Rant, or Milk Road, I should say. Sorry. That This was all I wanted to do, really. I know it seems like I'm being cruel to Apana, but as I said, she's got magic skills, and uh, if you haven't heard already, she's a mean SOB when it comes to defending herself, so I doubt anybody's gonna mess with her. Especially the dead, at that. <laughs> so, anyway. Back here, I'm gonna go ahead and call Apana. So that way she's here and ready to rock and roll and kick some iguana booty. Come on, Apona! Hopefully, she, there she is. Okay, she's come from that entrance. I'm gonna go ahead and get some arrows. Come on, give me arrows. I want arrows. Thank you. Okay. Now, with Apana in tow, and we're ready to go. I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. We're going to take on Ramana's uh, special quest. I don't know if I showed that yet in the book, but real quick, way down here, we made a promise. We're going to be there at 2.30 a.m. on the first night, so I'll see you guys then. Peace out, take care.